What's up guys? I am back with another review for you and today I'm reviewing the first three episodes of the iCarly revival on Paramount Plus which is out now. This basically follows Carly Shay nine years later after iCarly has ended. She is a millennial. She's graduated. She's traveled the world and she's bringing back her channel. She has her brother Spencer who is now a rich millionaire. You got Freddie who is Moving back home with his adopted stepdaughter and with his mom after failed marriages and a failed startup. We also got some new characters. As I mentioned, Freddie's stepdaughter is added to the cast. And we also have Carly's roommate, who is Harper, who is hilarious. I love her already. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was not looking forward to this reboot. The trailer sold me immediately. And I watched the first three episodes. And honestly, is it corny? Yes. Does it... Give nostalgia to when we were kids watching the show? Yes. Does it relate to modern day millennials, especially right now? Yes, it does. I think what makes the show work is that it knows what it is. It knows that it's a old version of a show in a new time. I mean, when I probably started, YouTube wasn't really all that big of what it is now. And by the time it ended, YouTube was becoming such a huge platform. And so now you got kind of like the old school coming back and figuring out the new school stuff. As you see with um, Freddie's stepdaughter, I cannot remember her name. I'm so sorry. But she's this new kid that's trying to be a vlogger. And she basically kind of low-key despises Carly, even though she kind of looks up to her. That's how I see it. And, you know, we get Carly kind of trying to basically relive you know, this is says she would have had it had she not stopped that Carly. Because to be honest, if she had not stopped that Carly, she would have been at the level of like a Bethany Moda or a Lily Singh even. She would have been on that level. And we're seeing her rebuild like what she started with the help of Harper and her friends. And we're seeing the antics, you know, with new people. Plus we got some, you know, old characters coming back. Like I mentioned, Freddie's mom is back. We also have... That one stalker girl, I can't remember her name. She's back in the episode. Neville's going to be guest starring as well. Now, to address the elf in the room, Jeanette McCurdy did not come back for the revival for personal reasons, which we all understand. And they addressed Sam's exit in the first episode. This is a show for anyone who grew up watching it or someone who's just now discovering it. So if you have like a younger sibling who's like a teenager and you're like in your 20s now, y'all can watch the show together. It's relatable. But yeah, that's pretty much my short review of it. I'm going to review episode four and five. I promise this will be longer. I'm getting back to doing reviews on this page because it's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video. As you can tell from my past videos I've posted. So I'm definitely going to have a review for you guys probably Wednesday because I'm going to be out of town. So definitely wait on that. Also expect my Corel review tomorrow. Anyway, this is your girl. Peace out, my love. If you have suggestions for my channel, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. We're on our way to 1K by the end of the summer. This is your girl. Peace out, my love. Have a great week. Bye.